Good day, students. I am Crystal Dayan Aliboso, your English teacher for today. So before I present to you the lesson or the literature that we're going to discuss, I would like to give you a short activity. So there are a lot of things that we value most in this world, like friends, family, our pets, gadgets, jewelry, and many more, right? So okay, class, I would like you to look something or anything inside your bag. So that thing must be valuable to you. So the thing that you are holding right now, what if the things that you value most got lost or missing? What if you only borrowed that certain thing which you have lost and what will you do? Of course, you would feel sad or anxious, especially if we only borrowed that thing that we lost. So the activity that we have just done is connected to our discussion. So the lesson or literature that we are going to talk about is the short story, The Necklace by Guy de Maupassant. So before we dig deeper to the story, I would like to show you some pictures depicting the story that we are going to discuss. So students, you are tasked to arrange the pictures to create visual plot diagram of the story, The Necklace. So here are the pictures that you are going to arrange. Now that we are done with our activity, I will tell you the story using the pictures we used in the previous activity. So set in Paris, France in 1880, Mathilde is a young middle class woman dreams of a lifestyle far beyond her reach. One day, her husband, Mr. Loisel, comes home with ticket to attend a very affluent party. And she is excited to attend but upset that she will look dowdy. So Matilda Loisel is not wealthy yet she dreams to be. Her husband gives her money to buy a dress. But she is not satisfied until she asks a wealthy friend named Mrs. Forrester and Matilda borrowed a necklace from her. At the ball, Matilda looked very pretty and it made her swell from the joy. When they reached home, they noticed that the necklace was missing. They had looked around but they didn't find it. Then, Mr. Loisel found a chocolate of diamond in a shop. It was exactly looked like the lost necklace. So they bought it for 30,000 francs. After that, they handed the jewelry to Mrs. Forrester but she did not open it. So the Loisel sent away the maid and lived in a rented room in an attic. They led quiet and humble and poor life for few years. One day, Matilde happened to meet Mrs. Forrester while they were taking a walk. So Matilde said to Mrs. Forrester, My life has been horrible because of the necklace I borrowed 10 years ago. Mrs. Forrester revealed that the necklace was only worth 500 francs and is a fake necklace. So students, now we are done with the analysis of the short story, The Necklace. Um, I would like you to answer the following question. Number one, what kind of a person is Mrs. Loisel? Why is she always unhappy? The answer is, Mrs. Loisel is a dreamy woman. She gives much value to her dreams. She overlooks the realities of her life. That is why she is always unhappy because dreams can't be true, right? And she wants them to be true. So what kind of a person is her husband? Her husband is a very simple-hearted person. He is an ordinary person, he is a caring husband, and he wants to see Mrs. Loisel happy. Next question, what fresh problem now disturbs Mrs. Loisel? The fresh problem is that Mrs. Loisel doesn't have a pretty and proper dress. What did Mr. and Mrs. Loisel do next? Mr. and Mrs. Loisel decided to borrow a diamond necklace. It is from her friend, Mrs. Forrester. Last question, have do they replaced the lost necklace? Yes, they replaced the necklace by borrowing money from lenders. They shift to a cheap house. They saw every scene possibility. Mrs. Loisel does all her work herself. They buy a new diamond necklace to replace the last one. Okay class, what do you think is the generalization of the story? The necklace is a story of how small things can ruin or save one's life. Because of Mrs. Loisel's greedy dreams and intentions, 
Not only she, but her husband also suffered for 10 years. If Matilde has shared about her mistake to her friend, then her life may be saved from being spoiled, right? So small things destroyed the life of Matilde. Okay class, I will divide you into five. So each group will be given 10 minutes to make a role play portraying the right thing that should be done if they were Matilde. So, and they will be discussing the lessons that they have learned from the story. Now let's move on to the evaluation. So, students, I will task you to write a one to two paragraph epilogue about Madame Loisel's life after she discovered the truth. What do you think happened next after Mrs. Loisel found out that the necklace is fake? So, okay class, since we're done with the discussion, I would like to give you an assignment. So, you're going to answer the question, The necklace is a short story of how a small thing ruins or saves one's life. Do you agree with the statement? If yes, justify. Now that we're done with the lesson for today, I hope, students, that you learned from me, and of course, you learned something from this story.